it all started here in this little horse shed, which I made as an office. This was my work office. And uh, that's how my first product came out, that's how I looked. I'm Dr. Cyrus Punawala, founder and managing director of Serum Institute of India for the last 50 years. And uh, laid the foundation here, Serum Institute of India, on the 12th of uh, June, the day after I got married. The beginning of my career after graduation, I had a choice of continuing the family business, horse breeding and racing, or get into something completely different which would deal with the masses and the underprivileged people of the country. The first thing that came to my mind was my philanthropic heritage not to exploit the situation of a shortage of these life-saving uh, uh, drugs and sera and then the vaccines, but to give it at a very affordable price and a humanitarian way. My heart reached out to all these uh, millions of uh, children that were dying without the product being available. There is no better expression of justice than ensuring that kids are immunized. Well, Serum Institute's an amazing company. It's the highest volume vaccine manufacturer in the world. And they're not the biggest in terms of revenue because uh, for almost all of their products, they use a very high volume, low price approach. And yet they do that with very high quality. We identified MBL as a source of technology to develop monoclonal antibody against the dreaded disease of rabies. And uh, this is going to save uh, thousands of uh, lives that otherwise would have been lost because there was no immediate cure for uh, a rabies, a dog bite. Within the vaccine industry, uh, Dr. Poonawala developed a business model that stressed quality, quantity, and affordability. I joined this company in 1979, and I'm still here. I think he must have single-handedly because of the Serum Institute has been responsible for saving millions of lives. For him, the greatest honor is the satisfaction that he gets of saving the lives in the poor countries. This sort of recognition for uh, Cyrus is long overdue, frankly, and uh, particularly uh, from a U.S. medical school, I think is going to hopefully uh, expand a collaboration that's been really quite successful with the University of Massachusetts. <laughs> I was actually delighted more so because this is one more uh, honor coming from an extremely prestigious organization.